Hi, let's consider the different classifications of contracts. Contracts can be divided into eight classifications of contracts. They are bilateral, unilateral, express, implied, executory, executed, formal, or informal. Bilateral or unilateral? A bilateral contract obligates both parties to perform, whereas a unilateral contract only obligates one party. A purchase and sale contract is an example of a bilateral contract. An option contract is an example of a unilateral contract. Most contracts are bilateral contracts. When someone orders a meal at a restaurant or visits a physician, a bilateral agreement has been entered into between the participating parties. There's a promised action by one party, food or medical care, and a promised action by another, payment. In real estate, a purchase and sale contract is an example of a bilateral contract. One party is obligated to sell and the other party is obligated to buy. An option contract, on the other hand, is an example of a unilateral contract. With an option contract, only the seller is obligated to sell. It is a unilateral contract with the buyer not being obligated to buy. Expressed or implied. An express contract details the contract terms in either a written or verbal agreement, whereas an implied contract is created by action. It is a misnomer to believe that you must formally agree to an agreement in order to be held liable for it. To establish the existence of an implied contract, it is necessary to show an unambiguous offer, an unambiguous acceptance, mutual intent to be bound, and consideration. However, these elements may be established by the conduct of the parties rather than through expressed written or oral agreements.
a contract which is implied. It's also called a quasi-contract and is a means for the courts to remedy situations in which one party would be unjustly enriched were he or she not required to compensate the other. Take, for example, an unconscious patient treated by a doctor in an emergency. This patient had not expressly agreed to pay the doctor for emergency services, but the patient would be unjustly gaining from the situation of the doctor's services should the doctor not be compensated. If a real estate agent, for example, reasonably appears to be acting on behalf of a buyer by doing things that a buyer's agent would normally do, such as saying, I'll get you the best deal, the real estate agent may reasonably be considered to be held to agency obligations to the buyer, such as confidentiality. This agent, upon disclosing how much a buyer would be willing to pay for a property to a seller, is breaking an implied contract. Executory or Executed Contracts Executory contracts are still to be finalized. They have actions that still must be completed by one or more parties, whereas an executed contract has already been finalized, completed, or i.e. executed. In real estate, while a buyer and seller are waiting to close a real estate contract, it is an executory contract. Once they sit down at the closing table and the title is conveyed from one to the other, it has been executed. Formal or informal contract. Formal contracts are written in a manner dictated by law. Although informal contracts must meet certain elements of a contract to be valid, informal contracts have no legally required standard in exactly how the contract is structured. A verbal contract, also called oral or parole contract, is always an informal contract. However, a written agreement is only considered a formal contract if it is written in a format required by contract law. Most contracts are informal contracts despite being in a written fill-in-the-blank format. These formats are for the convenience and legal protection of the users rather than the actual requirement of contract law. Examples of these types of informal contracts in real estate are leases, um, purchase and listing agreements, Now, on the other hand, a promissory note, an agreement between a lender and a borrower, is a formal contract as contract law dictates exactly how a promissory note is to be written. Classification of contract summarized. Bilateral, both parties must perform. Example, 
real estate purchase contract. Unilateral, one party must perform. Example, an option contract. Terms of the contract are expressed within the contract. Implied, terms of the contract can be assumed by the actions of one or both parties. Executory, contract still to be fully performed. A contract waiting to have the deed transferred from one owner to another is an example. An executed contract is where all conditions of the contract have already been performed, such as the deed having been conveyed from one owner to another. Formal contract, a written contract required in a specific format per contract law. An example would be a promissory note. An informal contract is either a verbal or a written contract, whereas the exact format is not required by law. An example would be a purchase and sale agreement.